Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brain TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the newest commander that we have just recently found out about, named Charlemagne. So, first of all, before we get into this, I want to tell you guys to subscribe because I make because I make Rise of Kingdoms videos, Rise of Kingdoms guides and reviews for Rise of Kingdoms like these. So, it would be awesome if you guys would subscribe. Um, so. Before we get into this video, I'm going to also show you how you get Charlemagne. So first of all, it's in the Crusader Achievements in KVK. Um, if you go to Alliance, this can only be attained um, if you are in the Alliance that takes the Great Ziggurat. And as you can see, if you control the Great Ziggurat by the end of the event, which is pretty much means you won KVK, you get Charlemagne. So... Uh, I got screenshots for Charlemagne. I'm going to be showing you them. So, if you guys don't know what the Great Ziggurat is, I'm pretty sure you know. It's pretty much the Lost Temple before KVK. Um, I'm going to show you. It's right here. It should be right here as soon as it loads in. Yep, it's right here. So, this is the Great Ziggurat. Um... Yeah, so you'll be able to see footage of people taking the ziggurat, um, and pretty much just, yeah, just pretty much, um, everything. It's pretty much just the Lost K Temple, but for KBK. So, I have some screenshots, I'm going to get to those right now. So, I got these screenshots from Chistkul's video, be uh, so shout out to him, uh, and... I'm going to be reviewing them, and I'm going to be talking about why he's good, and let's get right into that. Okay, so this is his first skill, and as you guys can see, that's what Charlemagne looks like. Um, he is a French commander. He is a leader in conquering and skill commander. Um, unlike normal leadering and conquering commanders, um, they usually have the attack uh, instead of skill, except Frederick, who has this um, skill tree, so... Um, I'm going to be showing you everything about him and his skills, so let's get right into that. So his first skill, it's a direct damage factor of 1,400. It's actually not as good because as you guys can see, if I show you um, on all these other commanders. So unlike Charlemagne, these other commanders have a direct damage factor of 1,400, but they have other buffs like Sao Sao who has some attack reduction and... March speed reduction with 10%. You have Minamoto who has a 50% chance to give an additional damage factor. And then you also have uh, Genghis Khan who has a direct damage factor of 1,700. So as you can see, his, um, his, um, um, his first skill is not as good as other legendary commanders i'm not saying that it's bad but it's just not as good as everyone else um i'm but he does have very good other skills which i'm going to be talking about as well in this video so i would give this skill rating an okay because he's not as good as other legendary commanders so let's get right to the next skill okay so we have the second skill here so this uh, it, this is while on the map, which means that it's not in the city, uh, so we can't be garrison commander with while using this skill. So it says while on the map, all you, all troops under the command have a 10% chance to gain a shield when attack when they are attacked, and the shield lasts for four seconds and can take a large amount of direct damage factor of 1,000. So this could either mean that when they are attacked by a um, skill, it could last for four seconds, or every time that you um uh, every time that you are um that you launch a skill your own skill that it will uh receive a direct damage factor uh direct damage factor reduction of 1000 so this is a very good skill because let's say you have um minamoto or someone who ha who launches a direct damage factor on you uh and he is like attacking you on the map so he would so he would launch a direct damage factor of 1400 and let's say this 10 percent chance actually happens that means that he would have a direct damage factor of 400 with minamoto which is crazy because normally with these kind of um normally with like high direct damage factor people they are able to do a ton of damage and this would pretty much be like 
it would be like a regular attack. It, like, the lowest direct damage, factor, direct damage factor in the game is the Marksman with 100. So this would be, like, around, like, well, there's other, like, this. it would be like having an uncommon, uh, like a green commander attacking you with a direct damage factor. This is very huge and very crucial of a skill. So I rate this skill very good. Um, this is a very important skill to have. Um, and this is just one of his amazing skills, and I'm going to be talking about more of them. So now to the next skill. Okay, so we have his third skill here. So his third skill, it does a rallied. Um, when a, this commander indicates a rally attack, increases the attack and defense of all troops by 10%. Now this is huge because this means that you get an attack buff of 10% as long as a defense a buff by 10%. So this is a very good skill, uh, especially for rally attacking. Um, with Mehmed, he has, with his, I don't think he does any damage directly towards, yeah, he doesn't do any damage towards rally in particular. Um, I'm comparing him because he's also a good rally commander. Um, and this doesn't have to be cities. It can also be, neutral units as well so he is a this is a very good skill uh for rallying and can be very helpful so this is a skill well pretty much all of his skills make him a really good rally commander and um that's pretty much all i can talk about this one there's not much to talk about because it's pretty straightforward so let's go to the next skill now so now we have his fourth skill this skill is a very is a lot more complicated than the other ones but i'm going to tell you guys exactly what this means so it says for each 10% chant for each 10% Charlemagne's uh, troops count decreases, which means that every time 10% of his troops go down, it uh, it's the skill damage increase by um, it's increased by uh, uh, 5% when uh, anything but a city, but when it's attacking a city, it's increased by 7%. Um, and then when his troops is less than 70%, the skill damage increase by by 15% and 21% when attacking cities. So I'm gonna be so these are a little bit more complicated because there's no other skills we've seen like these. They're um, they're quite unique compared to the other commander skills. But I I'm, I'm gonna explain to you what they actually mean. So for the first one, the skill damage increase went by every 10%. When, well, whenever it's decreased by 10%, I think this is could be compl could, could be incredibly overpowered because let's say that you're decreased by 10% and then you're constantly being reinforced in a rally. Um, it could be going up like let's say it's like a 10 minute rally. It could go up to 100% let's say if it keeps being decreased um i once saw a report from a 10 five hour rally this skill if it's not like put on a limit this can be this could be seriously huge especially when attacking cities um but it doesn't count for flags and stuff but it's still huge because it does a five percent i think if they actually release this commander um they would need to nerf this because if it went up by 10 percent uh, every time it was decreased by 10% and then it kept being reinforced, it was it, its skill damage would keep getting increased. So it would be really difficult to go up against this because it would just be his skill damage would would could go up to like a direct damage factor of like 3,000 pretty much. So he would definitely have to be the skill would have to be nerfed if it is exactly what I'm talking about. If it's if it's uh, showing exactly what I'm thinking. But the next one, which is still skill damage increased when it when they're at seventy percent, this is okay because when attacking cities, usually or like flags and stuff, it is constantly reinforced. So usually you don't get down to seventy percent. But the thing is, is when you're doing barbarian force, this can be really helpful because you obviously get down to seventy percent. Um, but usually, it's but usually you wouldn't get down to seven. Well, actually, if you're doing a higher level barbarian for it, never mind. It's this can be helpful if you're attacking neutral units, um, but that's not being constantly reinforced. But it is okay if you're doing a constantly reinforced rally. 
which are which is usually what this commander would be used for so uh, now let's get to his final expertise skill okay so this is his expertise skill it is 10 percent fewer troops die instead of severely wounded this is very important because this would this like usually when you're doing attacking cities or any kind of um flag or even center fortress rallies it can be very crucial because a lot of troops die and this is very helpful because you it decreases the amount of troops that will die by 10 percent which i really like so i'm gonna give an overview of this commander so my overview is that um it's that it's hands down the best rally commander in the game the reason why i say this is because i made another video about talking about all rally commanders this guy his skills all of them are all good for rallies so every single skill he has is crucial towards rallies and unlike other rally commanders that have other skills that can be used for other things but this person you only want to use him for rallies you might and then if you're somebody who has a max rally capacity and usually rallies a lot uh, against other cities and other things like that, he is very good. You might want to use him with Mehmed because Mehmed is um, the other best rally commander. But this guy has not been introduced into the game. So only people that have one KVK will get this commander, which kind of sucks because that means you have to be in the best alliance and in the best kingdom. So... Is pretty much if you were to um, uh, get the Great Cigarette, you'd want to put all of your max rally capacity players into the one alliance that's going to win KVK, and then have them all get Charlemagne so that you can have this commander for all your rallies. And uh, on top of Mehmed's uh, increased rally capacity, which can be up to 2,000 and 200 on top of the alliance rally capa max capacity. It can be very helpful so this commander is very good for rallies and i i highly suggest using him um that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new here because i make i make videos on rise of kingdoms like i said in the beginning of the video and thank you so much for watching and staying to the end and i'll see you guys next time bye guys